Oh. Here we go again. <laughs> the old school way. Are you going to faint? I think you'll be okay. I can go on. Thanks. Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is all about installing an air conditioner so this van isn't a total sweat box. In today's video, I'll tell you what type of air conditioner I got, how much it cost, and how my dad and I installed it. I had it all planned out in my mind, but when we got to it, it didn't work out that way. So you'll see how everything works out. So let's get started. Okay, here's us unboxing the Zero Breeze Mark II. Oh, it's a good plug. Power. That's a huge. It's a power supply. Good Lord. It's a brick. It's nothing. You it's got, just another styrofoam. You got ripped off. I probably did. This is the Zero Breeze Mark II portable air conditioner. It has a cooling power of about 2300 BTUs and will reduce the air temperature by about 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 11 degrees Celsius. With this amount of BTUs, the ideal cooling area is around 25 to 40 square feet. Now my van is about 60 square feet in the living area, so I knew that it's not gonna cool the whole thing, but it was important for me to cool down at least the area where I sit and work because last summer was unbearable. Now you might be asking yourself, why didn't I go with a different type of air conditioner, one that's more powerful, and here's the reasons why. A rooftop air conditioner that you would see on something like an RV, it is awesome, but it uses too much energy, more than my system could handle. A swamp cooler, ice air coolers, is only ideal in dry climates, and I travel to humid areas sometimes, but you always have to get ice and that's just a pain. A window air conditioner was out of the question because I didn't want to pop out one of my windows. Also, there's those portable air conditioners that you can have in your house, but you need to drain them out of the window as well and they're bigger than this. So I researched for a very long time and ended up on the Zero Breeze. There is an option to buy it with a battery, but since I already had my lithium battery, I decided that I didn't need that. And the noise level is pretty low, comparable to just a regular little fan. So for all these reasons, I decided on the Zero Breeze. Now, one of the things that I did not love about the Zero Breeze is the cost. The basic Zero Breeze Mark II with no battery is $999. If you want their battery, which is detachable, it will be $14.99. And if you want two batteries, it's $19.49. I did get a discount from Zero Breeze and they also gave me a discount code to give you. It will be $50 off if you use the referral code and that's linked in the description of this video below. The worst case scenario, when we plug this in, if it smokes, we have no. a we have a toaster. No, we're not going to take chances like that. Ready? Ready. What's happening? 61 Fahrenheit. Oh. That doesn't blow very much. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. It's like a jet. I hope this AC is going to be super cool. You know what else is super cool? Being part of the snack pack. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, throw a like on this video, and keep watching till the end so you can see if this AC is gonna keep me cool enough in the summer. I was thinking of sliding it right in there, put the hose and cut a hole into my bed so that it can go here, right? like this, pointing towards me. Okay, I'm just prefacing this by saying it's a bad idea, but let's come on in if we slid it in here, but this would always be open, but then the tube would it would be facing this way. Face how the are we going to get the vent hoses all the way down from right up there? That's exactly right. So that's yeah. not... I think your idea is better. We can try to make it work. I want to try all the options, but let's just say that we had it like this. Let's just say we had it like... Oh no, that doesn't work. Look what you don't want to do. Put two holes in the van. And if we have it all the way out here, then it'd go like this. Right. But and then th that's just dumb to have it on my bed like that. The door closed. I don't think you're going to... Look at yeah That's, the hoses are probably thicker than that so it's gonna have to go like this the hose will have to go down in the back and then this one's gonna have to come either up over this or through the mattress we need to find out what's directly under there under the van oh boy My foot is probably about where the holes are going to be. There's really like about an inch or two, and then there's like a bar. 
but it, that's fine. Hopefully, we won't get a cut through the bar. You can't. That's the axle or whatever it's called. Oh. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. There's like a bar there. Like there's a little gap. Hold it right there. Okay, right. There's where we're gonna make our hole. Yeah. So we're trying to get it as close to the battery. What I'm saying is if we can scooch this back even a couple inches, then when I turn it like this, I can point it to myself. It's gonna be awful close, huh? Right. That's a frame member, we can't cut it. I think yeah. you're right. <laughs> Come get me later, I'm just too tired. Oh gosh. We can pile it up a little bit. That's good, it's already bigger than it needs I to know. be. Well, this would be the back of the bench if we do it. Another upgrade I wanted to make to my van was to add a bench to my bed. But as we were doing this AC install, I noticed that the board in the back was going to be too short. The thickness of the mattress and the way that my legs were going to hang off the edge of the bed, it just wasn't ideal, so I decided against it. Bring them down and you know, keep it up here, and then bring it down over there and there. Up, I think that far back, we got pure floor. Because I'm almost positive this isn't going to work. Maybe we can strap that up there, yeah. I can strap That'd it up. That'd be cool. Because then I wouldn't lose any space here. I gotta get serious here. I need my tool belt. So today we're gonna be installing the Zero Breeze in the van. You can just plug it in and let it rip, but you need to have an exhaust and a suction tube and there's like a drain hole. So we're gonna do something that's a little more involved by cutting a hole into the bottom of the van so we can put those tubes ducts down so it goes under the van so it's a very cold and windy day as you can see by the door just closing it's a cold and windy day which is ironic since we're installing an ac i'm doing this in the winter spring months so that when summer comes i'll be ready to go with ac so we're trying to figure out where it's going to align underneath the van so let's put some wood strips to kind of give an idea of the cross section of where that would go so I could see under the van if that's a space that's going to be okay or if it's obstructed. It looks like it's obstructed by the tire. Steel, it goes all the way across. Right. And a flap of that steel goes five inches, covers this. Yeah. And I have a feeling that's a cross member. Oh. I don't know if it really weakened the van, but I don't know. Are you sure you don't want to do it on the outside of the van? Wait, what do you mean? I like could mount our holes right here, here, and then put a vent plate on the outside of the van. That's what they do on motor homes and campers. I mean, if it looked nice, we could maybe get like something that looks like that. Yes, like a vent like that. And then it could go on maybe on the outsides of this. Right. That would solve it. these tubes being right at the edge, and that'd be super easy and to And we could use the original tubes. Let's do that. Let's do it because I want to get this done. <laughs> Me too. And that way we don't have to go into the van. Yeah. We picked the windiest day of America to do this. You didn't make it to the wood. I know, but I think we hit something. Yeah, but not wood. I'll just go for it. Okay. Oh yeah, it's right through the wood. Okay. What's this thing called? I don't know. A whole bigger opener. Let's see if there's any wires in there. We're worried about this way. That's where your wires come down right about here. Yeah, nothing. Jeez! I think we're gonna need a pile of hole. Taking forever. This is lovely. That's ah. a new design. Yeah. Simon got a tattoo. Bam. Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna start it and just see if the wood shakes too much. Okay. Well, this is not good. Because the window's there, this become a it, the metal's going in and out. Shoot. I'm gonna have to hold the wood, so okay, I'm... Okay. I'm gonna have to do the metal first, and we'll do the wood separate. So if this touches, if this plate touches this, the whole window and all the metal uh, starts going like this. It was X. terrible. I mean, I could probably make this work by bending it a little bit, but we gotta make it a little bit bigger. Hi, hi, hi. I'm gonna have to, yeah, ready? Go! Where oh! 
Just a minute. Okay. Ready? You ready? Go! Oh, the wood came. I gotta do some trim work though. Oh boy. That's it. That's, I just grind the we rest. You can grind it. <laughs> Holy! Well, we got two holes in the side of your van. Oh, great. Let's see if it, we'll see if it'll clean this little area, right? Way off. For some like reason. halfway up, like the bottom would go in. To right about here, I think. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I got the cat! Oh God! Sorry, Allie. That was a little sparky. Oh, if, if we hammer it in, is it gonna buckle it? Well, it's kind of in there. It's this side. Oh! Dad, here we go again. <laughs> the old school way. <laughs> Are you gonna faint? I think you'll be okay. I can go on. Thanks. Too bad, but in parts it's awful lot. Yeah. Ta da! So we added a bead of silicone around this and around here. So we're gonna squish it in. It's for waterproofing. pushing real hard. Well, this is just really strange. Hold on, don't push, don't push, don't push. Tilt yours down a little bit. There you go. Well, now the top don't go in. Oh, there we go, there we go. We're just sealing it from the inside now so that it's all secure. Yeah, that looks real nice. So the next thing we got to do is drill a hole and install this drip tube so that when the condensation comes out of the AC, it'll drip down under the van. So we're going to try to go for this section there and see what happens. You were going to see where it came out or? Uh oh. You see it? No. Oh, oh. I, I see it and the stuff went in my mouth. Okay. Yep, I see it. Now, that wow, that's a weird spot. Is that going through major metal? Well, the thick metal? I think you should come look because this is a weird. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Do you see it? Hmm. It's just like you said, if your bit goes long enough. I'm hitting the battery. Oh, shoot. Oh, I hear something. to break through. That is the biggest bit I ever saw. Alright, moment of truth. Go silicone the top and the bottom. Ooh. If it's sticking out the other end. Oh the hose is great. Is it you see it? Yeah it's sticking through in a whole inch and a half. Okay, so now I gotta take six aspirin. <laughs> My back is killing me. Okay, I had to use two hands for this so I couldn't really record but these are just barely on there for now. They're not clamped down, but I got to drill a hole in this wood for the drain tube to come out and also for the plug. Okay. 
Yeah. Right there. That's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. 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 So this is the remaining section of my sleeping area. So I'm only losing about eight inches. Plenty of room. Okay. Whoa. Ta-da! <sighs> Gotta put the sheets and stuff back That's on. Right. You think I need to secure this somehow? No, not where it's gonna go. Backwards? No. Like if I... I think it's heavy enough. I mean, the worst that's gonna happen if it came this way is it hit the doors because it'll be closed. Alright, so it's tucked neatly in place. So now we can put the covers back on and then we can attach the hoses. I got an injury. We're all installed. These are connected outside. Now I gotta do is put my sheets and comforter back on the bed and clean up a little bit. Hallelujah! Right now it's at 84 degrees. Press the, the intake <gasps> and the exhaust. Sweet. It's already down 10 degrees. So this van isn't the but what but what but as things happen. No. I had it in my mind that it was gonna go. I had it in my mind the way it was gonna go, but things don't always wait. Wait, what? But things don't always work out the way you think about. What? What am I? What? 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 Oh! So let's get. So you can see. What? What are you trying to even say? Don't touch my. Dork.